Let's do some symbolic integration and differentiation with the MATLAB symbolic math toolbox. So if we wanted to differentiate some expression, let's say our expression is x squared, uh, it's, it's literally this easy. You do diff x squared and we get 2x. It will default to using uh, the dependent variable as, as x in diff and int and pretty much throughout the, the, the MATLAB uh, toolbox, it just likes x more than these other variables, but we could differentiate with, with respect to y. That'll work no problem. It also has no issues uh, with partial derivatives uh, here. You see it's treating x squared as a constant, and so we get 2y as our output. Uh, int works similarly easily. We can integrate x, and we get our expected result. We can integrate um, any kind of crazy uh, expression that you can cook up, and it will it will just it will just do it for you. Um, we can integrate. Uh, notice that this is also with respect to x automatically. If we change this to a y, it will treat that uh, as a constant. Uh, we can integrate for, uh, from from one bound to another uh, as a definite integral really easily. We can just add in bounds here. Uh, we can also change the variable we're integrating with respect to by putting an argument before those bounds, and we will. Uh, yep, it just it just works. There's there's nothing particularly special about this. I just a, a lot of people uh, like using things like Symbolab over uh, the much more powerful and capable MATLAB that they probably already have on their on their computers. And the nice thing is, MATLAB will never refuse to, to try to to try to do the computation you wanted to do, to do. It might brick your computer in the process of doing it, but it will uh, give it its best shot. So notice, uh, and I'll, I'll change this expression around a little bit. Let's say we had uh, x cubed with respect to x on zero to one. This will give us, oh, whoops, I suppressed it. This will give us uh, a, a fraction answer. Let's say we wanted things in decimal form. One thing you could do uh, would be to wrap a double around here to turn that into uh, kind of a, a, I guess it's a one by one double uh, array entry or something. Um, that works just fine, but there's another built-in function called VPA integral, which uh, takes an in, it takes a definite integral and then, uh, you know, casts the result uh, with variable precision. So that means uh, a bunch of decimal places. So we can do VPA integral of x from one to four, sure, and you'll notice that this uh, outputs. Well, so the, the nice thing actually, it, it outputs uh, as many decimals as you as you need to be able to, to fully fully define it, uh, it seems. So that's nice because if we did, uh, we brought this guy back and did double, uh, especially if we had like format long going on here, you can tell uh, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of wasted wasted space here. It's much easier to just see the, the 7.5 and be done with it. So that's uh, integrals and derivatives symbolically using MATLAB. Uh, I hope this saves you some time uh, when it comes to checking your work in the future.